Got a cool little mod I want to show off for you today. Welcome back to the channel. And we're going to go on to the lspfr.com site. It's called Keybind Finder. Uh, this is probably one of the most common complaints with LSPFR, especially when you get into a lot of these mods. Uh, you start running out of space on your keyboard and you can't remember what is bound to what because you have so many, uh, you know, plugins installed, uh, you know, scripts and a bunch of other things. And then I've been doing this for 10 years and I still get confused sometimes, you know, as to what I bound to what. So what this does is it helps you identify which keys are available uh, as, as you start selecting keys. It'll tell you what's bound to what. So it's pretty cool. I think it's kind of nice. It's a standalone EXE, which means it goes in your main game directory and that is it. So you download the file. We already have it downloaded and we're going to pull this up. And then over to the left, we have the main game directory. Over to the right, we have the uh, Keybind Finder EXE, Keybind Finder PDB. Both files, both of these need to go into your main game directory down here. I already have this installed, but I'm just going to go ahead and reinstall it because I've been playing around with it a little bit. And then it's going to be down at the very bottom of the screen. And then uh, what you do is take the Keybind Finder EXE. It's an application. Uh, just fire it from there. You don't have to be in the game at all. So you could do it uh, just out of game is fine. And then just go ahead and double click. And it's going to start searching through every single folder that you have inside of your main game directory. So this goes for the scripts folder, your, uh, you know, the LSPDFR folder, your plugins folder, and your LSPDFR folder that is inside your plugins folder. And then also your, you know, the, the other uh, directories that we have. So you can kind of see right there, we have ELS, for example. I'm not going to go through every one of these, but you can kind of see what we have. So what you do is you start typing on your keyboard as to how it is, uh, how, how you think it is written in the I and I. Most of the time it's going to be capitalized. So my advice is to make sure that you capitalize the keys. And then what we're going to do is just type in, like say the B key. So if I type in B, press enter. And so you'll, you'll see it has uh, found nine keys for B. So I have it uh, for me, I have it as a crime report. I uh, remember that doesn't happen very often, so but I can hold down that key and report a crime within LSPFR. Uh, you can see that I have like a baton type of thing. And then also, uh, let's see here, we have, I have a couple of copies as well, like stop the pet copy, I have a, a folder that's been copied over. So it'll search through all that. And then you can kind of help determine what you need, you know, what you can uh, use with the B key. Uh, sometimes you can select, uh, you know, the same B key. Uh, just kind of realize how you use it in the game. Uh, you may not use it very often type of thing. So now let's do the, the T key. And we're going to press the enter key. And you can see the uh, traffic stop follow. Uh, gunpoint pursuit, things like that. And then uh, we have the engine toggle key. Uh, that is in the simple control. See right there. And so that's kind of cool. I like that. And then we're going to do F1. Uh, actually, we do uh, F1 like this. And then we'll press enter. Yeah, you can see right there, F1. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's see here, script took v.net. That is my uh, uh, my keybind for my script took v.net console. Now, yours will probably be defaulted to F4, but we're not going to go through every one of these. But uh, we could also do the callout interface, the force callout. So that's another cool thing that you can think about if you're playing this game and you're you're pressing a key and you're like, why in the hell is it doing that? Uh, come back to this exe file and find out why it's doing that. Why is that key making something happen? That's the way I look at it, because it's been lots of times where I'm playing this game. And I press the key and I'm like, why is it doing that? And then I have to think about it in my head. It may take a long time to realize that it was bound, you know, to a plugin that I just installed. You know what I mean? So let's, let's go through just a couple more. We're not going to go through all of these, but just a few more. Uh, if you have to, you can type in alt. So how about, uh, let's see here, right alt. Yeah, right alt. A lot of people know this one. This should be your, your grammar police. Uh, let's press enter. Uh, it says invalid. Uh, so, oh, that's the, um, what key is that again? Why am I even recording this part? I <laughs> mean, trying to figure this out. Oh, uh, oh, that's our menu. Our menu. Uh, that is the right uh, alt key. Our menu like that. Let's see if I'm right. No, I'm not right. Okay, now I'm curious. And let's go up here. Uh, yeah, our menu. Right there, that's the dispatch key. Uh, let me try it again. R menu like that. Oh, maybe it has to be non-capitalized. Like so, R menu. Let's see. Yeah, there it is, right there. There we go. 
So uh, some of these these keys are kind of a little bit quirky, but uh, they're not that hard, guys. Okay, so I promise you they're not that hard because uh, I would I can't re really remember that the alt key is the right menu key. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't expect you to remember that either, because I've been in this for shit for ten years, and you know I would have forgot that. So here's my dispatch key right there. So that's kind of cool. Um, some other keys I think you may be uh, interested in is the uh, the X key and the Z key and the L key and the O key, okay? So the reason why I'm saying that is because those are keys that I found to easily modify a little bit because people keep asking me for my key binds. There's no reason for that. So if I do like O, oop, ah, there we go, O, capital O, okay? Press enter. And I found six, uh, six keys. So uh, let's see here, investigate object uh, key. I'm not really worried about that one. Uh, body cam record key. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I did know that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I remember that when you have Vax on body cam, right? Uh, you hold down the O key. And then also the, oh, the computer and the vehicle for the LSPFR, right? And then immersive um, ambient events. Uh, that's that's right. I think that may be a modifier key, though, to be honest, because I think it's like a left O or something like that. And then we could do maybe one, maybe one more. OK, and then we will do the E key. <laughs> uh, everybody knows that that's going to be bound to probably stop the bed and a bunch of other crap, right? So let's go ahead and do E key. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so these are the keys or that that's just regular LS, LSPFR. But here's not the bed right there. Let's see. A tackle key and that's that's for me anyway tackle key and stop stop the bed key bunch of other stuff i'm probably gonna rebound that key but the point is uh you could probably start going through some of these we'll, we'll do k for example enter uh you can start kind of looking through some of these mods uh that may uh that you could probably kind of uh decide that you don't want to use type of thing and maybe take those mods out if you need to and that way you can kind of rebind those keys a little bit more effectively but at least you can kind of search through your keyboard and determine what mods are linked to what. You know what I mean? So hopefully this will get, you know, somebody will get some use out of this. Um, I'm not sure about page up. I think you may have to do, I'm not sure if it's page up like this. Yeah, there it is. See, it, it takes a little bit of finagling, right? So I did uh, capitalization and then I just separated the word, see page up and then pay, I try to uh, make it uppercase, lowercase. And then I realize it's all together. See? And then, so you have to kind of, uh, you know, understand that just a little bit. Uh, kind of think about how you may have tried to bind it, you know, through these mods. I know I'm not making a lot of sense. I apologize. But uh, this is a very simple thing to use. And then it's uh, found two keys or page up. And that is the roleplay plus and the weapon control I and I as well. Oh, I almost forgot to include this part in the video, and that is uh, Rowan had wanted me to mention this for you guys. Uh, he is silent dev, by the way. Uh, you can also do the controller as well. So I know a lot of you use the controller, and uh, you may have to type it out, though. I wish you could just press the controller key, like, you know, D-pad left or D-pad up or down, whatever. But you may have to type it out. So I'm going to try my best to do this. Uh, so D-pad up, like this, maybe. Uh, invalid keybind. Of course it is. Uh, D pad up like this, right? Uh, no, D pad. Uh, let me give you an example. I hate when I do this. Uh, let's see. Um, we could do this with uh, probably stop the bed, right? I'm sure they have some. Uh, I'm trying to help you guys out. I don't see it. Here's the thing. I drive. I drive with the controller. Okay. I drive with the controller, and then it sits on my lap. And then I use mouse and keyboard for everything else. I know it sounds really weird, but I can guarantee you that I can get a hundred things done more than you that just use the controller. So uh, think about doing that, by the way. So uh, I'm trying to see where the here, oh, here it is. D-pad right. Uh, D-pad up. Oh, it has to be spelled like that, guys. So see that uh, D-pad right. See how it's spelled. Uh, capital D, capital P, and then lowercase ad, and then capital R, okay? So, and then DP, just remember that, just DP is capitalized. And then if it's left or right, it's gonna be, uh, yeah, it's gonna be capitalized as well. So, uh, let's go ahead and type that in there. And we're gonna do D pad up, 
like that and it should work there we go so found five keys for d-pad up and you can see it seat belt control uh gun point uh pursuit button and then you can kind of see here also for stop the bed uh gun point uh pursuit button. i think that what that is if i'm not mistaken i may be wrong but i think you can start the pursuit you know with aiming the weapon and then pressing the d-pad up tell me if i'm wrong I may be wrong, but like I said, I use mouse and keyboard for that. So to start a pursuit, it would be, you know, you aim it at a, at a uh, suspect and then press the T key twice. That's how you start a pursuit. So how about D-pad down? Kind of curious. Uh, D-pad like that, capital D, capital P, and then capital D again, down. And then you can kind of see here, uh, that's your pursuit menu. Uh, if you have that, uh, Activated, I guess, with an LSPFR. And then scene manager. Uh, if I have that loaded in, which you may, may or not have, you may or may not have that. And then uh, this is my old plugin. So I probably wouldn't even look at that because uh, sometimes I have uh, folders in here that are copied over there. I always recommend copying certain folders sometimes. But uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and do another one really fast. Uh, deep pad. Uh, maybe left because that one there i think will do quite a bit yeah there it is and then you could do like uh, if you're just using regular lsp fire you can see perform frisk uh, chase abort things like that and then the list goes on here and then also quick uh, yeah quick grab mod uh, modifier button right there so it'd be d-pad left uh, so that'll kind of give you some ideas if you start uh, typing in these keys uh, now, I'm not sure what it would be like for the, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to even word this. Like for the, for example, maybe you guys know, maybe I don't know these things. Uh, the, uh, to use your uh, controller, oh, here's the buttons. Uh, you can see right there, see so like the tackle button is the B key uh, for the controller. But obviously it's the, the EXE is not going to know is if it's the controller b uh, the b button or is it the keyboard b button you see where i'm going with that and so i'm not educated enough to even tell you guys so i apologize uh, i don't have enough knowledge for that uh there may be a little uh, a little shortcut thing we, you can type in there to determine you know if it's uh, going to be you know x y b or a on your on your controller for example if you're using an xbox controller but uh, hopefully someone can answer that in the comments I would greatly appreciate that. Until next time, you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next patrol. Stay safe.